Hey, we're going to start trying to do two of these movie riffs a week. One will be live on Fridays, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, approximately, depending on what time I get out of work and when I get on air. And the other one will be scheduled for launch on Wednesday mornings. That one will be off stream. It'll be me being a goof in my bedroom by myself. Uh, usually that's... Well, usually when I'm being a goof in my bedroom by myself, it's something I can't be shown on Twitch, but I'll try to keep it clean. And tell me now. Uh, so... How y'all doing? I hope your day is going well. What we're going to do here is we were going to watch Star Crash because I just watched the MST3K crew do it. And so the movie's fresh in my mind. But I can't find a copy on YouTube. So I did find Escape from Galaxy 3, which apparently is billed as Star Crash 2. Apparently that movie deserved a sequel. That doesn't make sense to me. But, you know, hey, someone decided to do it. So fuck it. Let's have fun. Um, so we're going to watch the movie, make fun of it. For those of you who don't know how it works. And uh, just generally have a good time. Um, folks, if you could, please, I would always appreciate that. Like, subscribe. Ring my bell. All the YouTube comments, all the YouTube stuff that helps me get more visibility. That would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And uh, real quick before we begin, I want to do a shout out to Future Zone, who you can't see their, their channel title because it's behind my dome. But Future Zone is the one, the channel who put this movie up for us to enjoy. So let's thank them. If you can go give them a quick like, subscribe, follow, just for helping us out by putting movies up. I'd appreciate that as well. Uh, I will try to remember to put a link in the description for the video. I might forget. So it may be there. It may not. Let's wish ourselves luck and hope for the best. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So no further ado. No more beating around any bushes. Your mother's bush. We're going to go ahead and start the movie. Uh, so this is Escape from Galaxy 3, a.k.a. Star Crash 2. Which apparently involves Gerald Buchanan. No relation. I don't think. I don't remember really bad. I don't know. <laughs> James Milton, heir to the most, much less known Milton Hotels. Free apparently found on the free ball. Look at that. Like bull ball. Just me. One else? Okay, well, I thought I thought it looked like a, a freak from a pool ball. You know, it's for you. Don't judge. I don't see you guys trying to make any jokes. John Thomas! Name that is entirely too boring to make fun of. Do -do 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 -do. I mean, the one thing we can say so far is this is a jam. Call like I see It's a fucking jam. Published by Cam? C A M? Cam. Franco Am I Cucci? Normal Norman. I hate when people leave their Christmas lights up. Meanwhile, at the Space Pope. Nice establishing shot of... Something. Oh, Alright, I have no idea what's going on. I mean, it's a ship. Right. Size and shape, it could be a station. I don't know. We know they got a foosball table, so that's cool. Yeah, I mean, the galaxy's pretty big, right? Like, I fear this. It's Oraklan, the king of the night. And the king of the night! In our galaxy, I've always reigned defending peace and justice. Silly headwear. Powerful king of the night. Once king of the night, he makes the wolves out, honey! Sire, we yes, have no weapons to defend ourselves. Everyone is ready and willing to fight. You have a cult jester. Don't tell me how to run my kingdom. Oraklan has more advanced weapons than we have, sire. 
We must put plan Epsilon in action. I don't, you're just making stuff up. Why might I have a brief on anything? What's Epsilon? Still untried. It has to complete final testing. The FDA has to get on board. Anyway, as a last resort. We have no choice. I herewith declare a state of emergency. Everyone to his post. I also declare that everyone must wear bathrobes. I'm sick of looking silly. I'm sure we'll <laughs> Elsar. Oriklan is too powerful and too greedy. Also, this is not prevalent to the plot at all, but why does her dress include a pasty hat? Seriously, she has a nipple pasty on. No, father. You're wearing clothes. It seems like the clothes are failing if you have to add to them. Sounds like your dryer is overloaded. I want to check on that. It could, could cause the house fire. Stars, got it. We're in space. Now you've established that. We can, we can, we can move on. I we can approach something that resembles a plot. Oh, I see. So you have a spaceship that's covered in black lights, which clearly means that's an intergalactic laser tag arena. And I'm, I'm curious. I'm on board. Let's see. Let's see where this goes. I love laser tag. Being excused, are affiliated. These are still a thing. Am I that old and out of touch? Wait, when are we following a Power Rangers episode? What the hell is this dude wearing? I look cool yet. Future flash, just place it at the lightning bolt. Yes, my lord. Good. Now put me in contact with that stubborn king of Ix. At once, my lord. Excellent Pokemon. I don't know, it was a Final Fantasy summon, right? The, then, the horse with the, the big horn that shoots lightning bolts. I only asked about hearing. Don't give unnecessary information. That this is not one of my usual peaceful... Reconnaissance flights into your galaxy. Again, galaxies are quite large. Clear, there, you surrender. It's useless for me to surrender. So, still destroying my subjects. Just to clarify, the King of Night is a black guy. Come on, movie, you're so better than that. Well, you're not, but you can pretend to be better than that. Come on. He was right, though. I was going to kill him either way. Jamal. Sir. Yes, sir. Prepare for attack. Oh, look. He's a heavyweight champion. Good for him. Now, give them the bird. It looks like a giant hand. So. Come back and look. YouTube, you can go back 15 seconds. Look, looks like a giant hand pulling into a fist. Action stations, all units. Turn on the laser barriers. Sir, can we already have that up? Switch over to direction control. Of the barrier or the ship? Zero, 13, 15th dimension. Oh, it is a giant hand. Look at that. I was being a smart ass. They cut off Fulstron's hand and they're using it as a ship. It's super messed up. Alright, so is that lightning bolt actually on his leg or is it a strip of fabric in front of his leg like an off center loincloth? Because I'm having trouble telling what they're going for here. Also, it's a really weird choice to use the shower curtain as a cape. I don't. Do I have any lines yet? I'll just wander around. Really weird choice to do a laser light show for Christmas, but you know what? I'm here for it. Sire, we must counterattack with our forward observation craft. I don't know what that is! Sacrifice any human lives in a hopeless battle. Send the aliens in. Very well. I'll use the 
remote control attachment. Control room. Prepare the attack modules for launching. Yes, Nightwing! Is that an attack module? Not a ship? Oh, what am I seeing? Are they deploying their garbage trucks? Guys, wait up! Hello! 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 Mrs. Q, God damn it, Dave. Be better than this. I don't know, it looks like a series of handbags. We're gonna clean this quadrant up. What the hell is going on? Space truckers! Was it? Nothing, nothing, okay. No, still nothing blew up. What was on target? What'd you hit? Now what, sir? You haven't given us any orders. Oh, they lost Steve. That's a shame. Someone is very proud of the RGB display on their motherboard. Oh, see what happened there? Was your PSU overloaded? Yeah, you're gonna have to get that replaced. Motherboard's probably shot too. I think we can salvage the CPU though. For what? And who? More than one person here. Who, who are you telling to watch? Oh, him. Let's see if you're more clear. Maybe he'd still be alive. Yay! Or boo! I don't know whose chips are whose. Hey, we got one out of three. 33% is good enough, right? Sir, what does it look like we're doing? Guess I guess she's sleeping. Oh, no, nope, never mind. So if I'm reading this right, and I'll be honest, you're probably not, I think the good guys are losing. I guess they're being yelled at. Yeah, sorry, we're gonna have to be fast forwarding through some commercials because uh, I can't afford the YouTube premium, so. We'll deal with it, it's fine. And yes, I know I can edit the commercials out, but you're forgetting I'm terrible at my job. He has a magic ring. Okay, look, I know this isn't important and it's just a crappy movie and I shouldn't ask questions, but that's not how that works. You need a continuous fire thing, not just intermittent blasts. Look what the fuck. Eh. Also, is anyone else noticing that his handgun kind of looks like if you take the paper off a roll of Mentos and just glue the handle to it? Oh, if I knew it was going to be this difficult, I never would have become the Burger King. Now is to obtain help from our ally, Antares. Who's Antares? Yes, with him. <laughs> His name is just the word listen with a lisp. Such a dangerous mission. Go on, listen. Take my daughter with you as my ambassador. It's too dangerous to send out my troops. Take, take my daughter, though. She's, she's kind of bugging me. She, she doesn't make it. It's fine. Don't, don't try too hard. It's cool. time. Good luck. You too, sir. It's okay if you don't make it back. Your mother will understand. Uh, who am I kidding? I was born to be Burger King. Seriously, I was born for it. It's a progression through the age of thing. My father was Burger King and his father before him was only natural that I would succeed, but I really wanted to go to Juilliard. I will. Oh, there's a flying toilet. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go back up the stairs. Someone forgot something. She'll have the phone charging just to run back real quick. Or is in the movie when she's ready. I think they just hit each other. Nope, nope, same two shapes. It must be fun.
big ones getting away. I guess they're they're fleeing, maybe. I don't I'm so lost. Hey, don't look at me, I don't know either. And I'm running the attack. Use the hypersolar missile systems! So they're fast, but they're individual. Each one only has one missile. So it's it's, it's a threat, but it's not like a huge you just have to dodge a little, and then you know you're fine. Uh, does this do anything? Oh, I knew I should have studied this thing. I can't believe you threw out the owner's manual. Jerk. Don't give up hope, Bellstar. We'll not only get Antares, we'll get every king in the galaxy to fight at our side. I know it's just leaving that map painting so far behind. Unicorn shirt. Three, two, no, sir, it's only. Yeah, there you go. One shot. Why do you have glitter in his beard? Sailing off. Yes. Now it's your turn. Oh. Oh, my kidney! Was that like one single laser blast went through the hull of the ship, killed the king, and then caused the ship to explode? Because if so, I feel like this battle could have ended ages ago. So we might use pants. We'd appreciate it if you'd start. Okay. You have the Sports Illustrated Football Command Center. Someone has managed to elude me. Oh man, Rita's gonna be pissed. No one has last name Star. Galactic idiots. Imbecile. Not just regular idiots, but idiots on a galactic scale. We are not returning to base. Here in the future, we say everything's galactic. Galactic Snickers, Galactic Reese's, Galactic Heineken. It's all galactic. It's just what we do in the future for reasons that, you know, we'd rather keep for ourselves. Oh, that invalidates my thing. You know what? You're a jackass. Always have to one up me. You can't just ever let anything be, can you? Did the chips pass by or. Whiting movie! Jesus. Sir, we're on ship. We don't have a formation. Got zero. Also, I want to see the lotto guys call numbers the way that guy reads lines. The first number is 20. Three. The second number is 15. It would still be a tax on the poor, but it'd at least be fun, right? Like, I'd laugh. You're looking at my monitor. I already knew that. God. Oh no, I got it. He's if Nightwing and uh, Napoleon Dynamite had a baby. That's 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 what I that guess. Convoy. I don't know what I'm looking at. Uh, I should have finished med school. Yes. You hope to deceive me. You have failed. Oh. No one from Ixlan is going to escape death. Um, you, I, I'm actually from Diaxalon. It's it's a suburb outside of Ixalan. Did we evacuate? Or, oh, you meant the lasers. Either he's really good or these fighters are really bad. 
Or the much more likely. They're all terrible. Oh, they shoved the porta potty! Oh, this will be a long trip. Activated automatically the moment there's a navigational malfunction. I've been on ships too, Jackass. Bit of mansplaining basic systems. How did they manage to disappear like that? Cosmic radar scanning waves can no longer pick up their signal. You're just making up words, God damn it! I mean, I can put out an ad on Craigslist, I guess. Use a megametric teleprobe and scan the whole eastern galaxy! Sir, wait! Use a Twitter probe instead. Calling all units. Deploy in Delta formation. Lower altitude by a thousand I... degrees. Okay, first off, you're in space, there is no altitude. But also, you already called for Delta formation. Is that the only formation you know? And if so, why not just say, deploy the formation? Like, we gotta specify. And I'm wearing way too much eyeliner. Where do you think we are now? I don't know. No way of telling. But I'm not stopping at the directions. Suppose we land on the first asteroid we encounter and try to repair the navigation system. And we can't even go back. Oraclon will still be looking. We gotta go back, go back and find Oraclon. But we can't go back, I know. She also has a pasty on her butt cheek. That's a weird decision. Baseballs? Baseballs. Oh, it's the chairs. Getting nearer and nearer to a heliocentric point. What solar system is it? I have many questions. Our GPS is down. Listen, come and look at this. Listen. <laughs> that I kind of love. What is that, uh, mucus in a petri dish? Oh, it's the pop socket. Yellow on the top right there. Bring us closer. Think they have a mechanic? I guess we can check it out. I already gave the order. Maybe you should try listening once in a while. You know, like your name, Lithin. According to the computer, the atmosphere is oxygen and nitrogen, with a small percentage of carbon dioxide. Oh, okay. See, I was worried it was Earth, but it's only a small percentage of carbon dioxide. It must not be us. God, it's hideous! Who designed that thing? Jeez, is that like the IKEA of spaceships? Get out of here! Fire Island revisited. It's just cheese on bread! Bush countryside, maybe? Definitely not Florida. There's nowhere near enough swamp and gators. I don't even know what we're looking at. Why are they readying their airbrush guns? Wonder me powers activate! God, what is this bright, shiny thing in the sky? We're from space. We wouldn't have any idea about things like that. They stumbled upon that set that they used for all the Star Trek episodes. Shatner's gonna be pissed! I guess we leave the ship then, huh? I mean, it'd be nice if someone would give us direction, I guess. What do you think? Maybe walk over there? No, I don't. Where are the cameras even at? Oh, this show is such a waste. Goodbye, ship. Yeah, so long, Seca. 
paper mache material of the future. This is a great establishing shot. See, without this, we wouldn't know where they were going, right? We would be forced to wonder how they got from here to wherever they're going to end up. And no, now we know that it's off to the left side of the screen. They're going off to the left side of the screen. So whatever they're doing, it's over there somewhere in this direction. They're just going to go off that way. And eventually we'll switch to another establishing shot to see where they went. But we needed to know that. Uh, nope, nope, they're back. They're back. Okay, this is going to take forever. Um, okay. That's okay. All right, all right, so they went off to the right. So now, look, princess, I don't want to be that guy, but you left half your pants in the ship. I know, it's easier to let the farts breathe. Going for a hike, okay. Yeah, this, this is good information. We didn't know this. This is good information, right? Freeze. Okay, look, movie. If you were dealing with some alien civilization, either an alien planet or you were making this movie for aliens, then all these establishing shots of trees would really help. But, like, we're here. We're on Earth. We know what trees are. I'm currently sitting in my bedroom watching a crappy movie on my computer and recording it for the internet. Clearly, I don't give a damn about the outdoors. Can we move it along, please? I think I haven't finished restrooms yet. It's a long flight. Any minute now, Robin Hood's gonna come in and just F them up. That crown she's wearing? Gone. Probably his magic ring, too. <laughs> Quick, sneak up on them by yelling very loudly! Stone the leech! Stone her! Stone her! They almost hit my perm! Don't worry. I won't kill anyone. Okay, well to be fair, he may have broke his neck, but I won't kill anyone else. I'm just going for her! Hey, we were using that! Wee! Same guy. Man, now that rock is rolling! It's actually where the term came from, but it would take them another 5,000 years to invent the music to go with the term. Next. No! Our rocks might be outmatched! Maybe we should go! My mom's calling! They always say Kim never sticks to her oh. New Year's resolution. You know what? I'm just gonna mute you then. They're not letting me skip the ad. Well, then we're just not going to listen to it. How's that? Screw you, Volkswagen. I'm stuck a big old pile of butts. Big stinky pile of butts. All the worst butts. The butts that have not been cleaned. Okay. Yes. They left. Nobody wants to tangle with the wing, man. <laughs> Sneak some Nightwing. Oh man, they're still gonna lose. Ori Calcum or whatever his name is, belt is way bigger than theirs. That's clearly a demonstration of skill. And why do they have a tent in the middle of their ancient city? Also, where do they find coconuts this big? Oh, who lives in a pineapple in the forest? Those are ducks. They used a chicken sound effect. Those are ducks. Hey, some ducks wandering the side. You want me to scare them off? No, no, let's use this. Let's use this. Just pretend they're chickens. No one will know. I think her pants actually suffered a catastrophic blowout on that leg. Look, you can still see the remnants hanging under her boot. Interesting. There's no one here. I mean, if I saw you coming, I would love to. I hear something, but I don't see anything. Quandary. I don't even know what we're yelling about, but I'm very upset about it! Stone Age, January 6th. Now then, what has happened? I saw a giant flying monster come down from the sky! It was super ugly and poorly designed! 
Well, I'll destroy them first. What the hell you want from me? I gotta do everything around here. We tried to talk to them, but it was impossible. They threw rocks. I say they're not humans. You, you, threw, you didn't try to talk. You threw rocks. Rude as shit. A little funny, but. So, you think the movie's around here somewhere? I, I don't even care anymore. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of over it too, but this is a paycheck. Wait, they're paying you to be in this? You don't spit on it when you're trying to light it on fire. So, uh... Sharpening your stick? What's going on, buddy? Hi. Come and look to yourself. They're in the ravine. Wait here for my return. Oh, oh. That poor ancient dude just totally soiled his robe. Supposed to just drop out, huh? Yeah, he's probably fine. Oh, he turned the fire on and off. What a hell of a remote. Works on sticks? That's weird. Oh, he's using his flame lantern ring. Whoa! I don't. All I did was light his fire. Planet, have we landed? Evidently, these people are twenty or thirty thousand years behind our time. That's just a rough estimate. I could be wrong by four or five thousand. I also have a lame lantern ring, and mine doesn't make fire. Bad jelly. It also looks like he stole the veggies from Motel 6. Be prepared! Do you know my current's inflatable? Water will live in. Wait, wait, wait. What? Okay, first off, water's not a mineral. Second, how do you guys drink? That doesn't answer my question, but thank you for the science lesson. No. What are you trying to do? Are you crazy? Touch what I want to touch, you jerk wagon. Oh god, he was right, it's acid! Oh, burns! Why do I keep doing this to myself? Oh! You'll die with me! No. <laughs> Laser pistol short set and explodes. Now hide among the rocks. I promise you that before they can harm us, we will capture them. You have no reason to be afraid. Now hide. Peeing is optional. I'll be peeing. Anyone around here has a pair of pants? is really in the glitter. Past? Where are we? <laughs> so unhygienic. I'm glad we evolved past such things. Yeah, me too. Talking with each other, communicating. Interesting. How does he hear her? Teenagers. Ah, oh, rubble, 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 rubble. Very angry, confused, rubble, rubble. Oh. Quiet down. Surround them. Disarm them before they can use their weapons. We said magic powers. Why are you inferring weapons? Technically, we said supernatural. Shut up, Jimmy. Gets the point. He's taking the best players from their highlight team. Cross might work better for that joke, but you know, whatever, it's fine. Strange. I could Looks like rocks. From here. What do you make of it? You're not very good at hearing things, Lithin. A repetition of sounds is really trickery. Let's get back to the ship. 
fun way to say Echo, I guess. Why does he have big, thick scrunchies on his elbows? And, and his calves. I don't have that much hair, bro. God, nature sucks. I'm already tired of it. Well, this is awkward. Is this how you say hello? Seems friendly. We come in peace. We have no intention of harming you. We inexplicably speak the same language as you. Actually, will not be captured. Not today. There's nothing I could do your job. That's all it is, Lieutenant. I know. But I'm sure with a little patience we'll be able to convince them they don't mean any harm. I need a little patience. Yes, yes, I agree. Kill and eat them. We're all saying the same thing. Why are you yelling at me? We agree, all of us. They must die. They must be burned. Actually, I was thinking of a stoning. I want a ham! Their bodies consumed by the flames and their ashes thrown to the winds. In this way, their evil spirits will be destroyed forever. Last time you threw ashes to the wind, I seized for a week. I guess we're okay with that! Sounds fine, whatever. Can we get along with it, please? You know, these people wear a lot of white for a group of individuals who haven't invented laundry or bleach yet. That should be more off white at this point. Yeah. Oh shit, there's the movie down there. Okay, let me just zoom in here. Watch where you're pointing that thing, why don't you? Uh. Oh, look, they they're going to throw us a barbecue. The intruders. You give us no choice. You're not of our world. I have moves. being destroyed by your supernatural powers. And so my people have decided that you must die. I see at least five different time periods represented in their dress. Like, pick a theme movie. No, don't kill that one! Kill these two! Oh crap, we always screw this part up. I'm fine! Where would I move to, Mom? Listen, powers! Away! Believe it or not! I'm horribly, horribly scarred, but yeah, I guess I'll be fine. Mother of the year over here, right, folks? Let me drop off a damn cliff. Thank you. Would you like to borrow my eyeliner? I got plenty. Whee! Oh shit, I forgot I can jump high, but I can't land! Oh, my ankles! Now he's just showing off. Psycho energetic. I don't either. I think you're making them stuff again. I don't know how to thank you. Forgive us for what we've done. You have offered ample proof that you mean us no harm. All right, Burnham. Promises people a show. What can I do? Pro trip. You're making fools of us. By making friends with the locals. I'll have somebody's head for this. Yeah, but Rita's gonna have yours, so. Never should have signed on to be a Power Rangers villain. <laughs> My house, get out of here, you turd! 
Do they, do they have those little pain binoculars just outside their hut? That's weird. I don't... Uh, guy with a creepy smile on a perm never tells you to come, kids. Just ignore him. Just ignore him. I've seen you before. You know that? Come on. Well, yeah, there's only like ten people in this village. What's that you got there? They're flowers. May I see them? They're a small one. No, they're mine! Will you teach me to jump like you? Of course oh, I will. Mine! Those pretty little girls. What a great man! Did you like it? Off you go, children. Come along. <laughs> That's okay. We had no idea where we were going with this scene. Please forgive me. You're only children. They're so cute. I will kill them all. They weren't being a nuisance. No more so than any child's nuisance, really. Which is quite a bit. Ooh, hey. I'm uncomfortable with this. My people, these strangers from a world that is alien are welcome among us. Being simple and peace-loving, they deserve our hospitality. Oh, they're peace-loving. I thought you were trying to claim you were peace-loving after you just tried to burn two people to stake. May the good spirits protect you. Oh, so there's a couple of mushrooms holding my cape on. Not sure what that's about, but you know, whatever. I'm not in charge of wardrobe. Come along. Where exactly are you from? You're the first visitors we've had since we settled. Well, what kind of a horrible monster is that? A tasty one. I'll show you later. <laughs> that's a water buffalo. There's no need to be frightened. It's quite a harmless animal. I like what's in here. I will kill you all. I will devour your soul. Do not touch me, mortal! You besmirch my head with your filthy human hands. In your mind, I kind of like it. So I'm going to kill you, though. Woo! Call that harmless. <laughs> he shattered his tailbone. It's hilarious. So they have no electricity or running water, but they have remote control boats. The bridge to nowhere. Of course, in these days, pretty much everywhere was nowhere, so... You guys know you construct a dam where the water is, right? We will flood the fields and destroy our crops, and we will have no food this winter. You mean these rocks have to be piled up across the river? Yes. It's a long, slow job. They're very heavy. You down there! I don't know why they're slacking off by jumping down the tree. It's... Oh shit, sorry Timmy! Like Superman Tetris. Even when he was stroking me, there was a strange light in his eyes. Then he started fondling me all over my body until he climbed up on top of me. And it was fantastic. You must try it. Here, give me your hand. Here. This movie's just changed ratings. Don't you feel anything inside? Anything at all? Uh, I feel boob. I don't. What are you going for? Kiss me. So she had sex with the locals, so I'm picking up. I guess aliens don't have sex? But if that's the case, would they have genitals? Right? They're aliens. So, like. I'm confused, I guess is the point of my statement. Don't you feel it's fine. Confused and awkward. You know I'm married, right? I can feel that you're, you're uh, stroking me. And that's all? What am I supposed to feel? It's strange. That boy really seemed to enjoy it. Oh. <laughs> hey, wait. Can you help me, please? Do you fancy him? I do. He's nice. He's I'm not that drunk yet. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> this is so awkward. Would you like to have me? Sure, yes. Go with that. <laughs> A weird culture. That they're still not used to the sunrise, sunset. It's weird. They figured by now they'd be used to the you know, day night cycle, but it still catches them off guard every fucking day. It's odd. At some point, you gotta adapt, right? Like, or get some lighting for your movie. We'll have to abandon this planet as soon as possible. Otherwise, he'll destroy it, and these people don't deserve such a terrible fate. That's okay. Those ladies found out that our species are born like Ken dolls, and they wouldn't stop laughing at me. I don't like it here anymore. I don't know why, but I feel emasculated. It's weird because no one in our species does junk, but it just hit me really hard. Spirograph by Mattel. Oh, never mind. So the, you can't have a sundial that's backlit. It defeats the purpose. That's why it's rotating, though. Picking up radiation. It'll be from a spacecraft, my lord. Activate the astral scanner. The asshole scanner. I mean, things are stuff beeping. Pretty much everyone in this movie is an asshole. Road trip! Road trip! Eh. Still don't know what any of these damn buttons do! There. That should do it. Stop Wait, didn't you have to affect repairs? Of course we are getting radiation. They destroyed themselves in an atomic war! Oh, so this is supposed to be our future. We just we wiped ourselves out in nuclear war. Not the centimeters, though. Filthy British. So it's right here, right, guys? I don't know, man. I'm lost. And they're always so shocked by daybreak, too. I mean, they're happy, so it's kind of cute, but it's weird that they're still getting surprised by just regular cycles of the sun. I don't... How dumb are these people? My father used to tell me stories of far-off planets when I was a child. That's great. The batteries didn't. I can't get this thing started. Yeah, but we're really in trouble here. We gotta move. Cool, but like we're seriously going to die if I can't get this thing running. Maybe science alone is not enough. Plus, the skirt really lets my junk breathe. My father also said that the people who've tasted the joys of life lose their gift of immortality. You mean STDs? We aren't immortal anymore. Does it matter? I mean, it matters to me. I didn't have a say in this. You gotta ask permission before you take someone's immortality. Princess. I hate you. I won't die. Man, this sucks. I'm all bummed out now. It's the first time you've called me that. First time I've addressed you by name or title, I guess. That means it's kind of weird. I just sort of talk at you. Yeah, you're kind of a dick. Listen. What's the matter? Listen to what? I don't want to die. You just told me I'm going to end. It's terrible. I'm confronting my own mortality for the first time. I'm really happy, man. You can't just drop that on a guy. Oh. So many things I still wanted to do. Okay, I really don't. I don't have any plans at all, but like still. I wanted to live long enough to come up with a plan. And that top is just barely holding on. She is so close to wardrobe malfunction. Uh, if you... Uh, it's cute. When you stand so close, my mind goes blank. I forget what I'm trying to say. Well, that's because you're not very bright. If we activate any energy source, Oracle will pinpoint our location immediately. Okay. What do we do then? Um... I think we get back to the auto zone? Maybe? I don't know. Ah, yes, the staircase walking scene does not get old even after the third time we see it. 
really giving the viewers what they want here. Good job, buddy. This way, right? Audience, well, we've shown you this several times. You have to know by now, right? Fine, so I guess I'll just wait here then, you jerks. Maybe I want to have sex, too. Just so much shit doesn't mean I don't have needs. Nah, y'all go to hell. When did we get to the lake? Weren't we just by a big rock? Never mind, maybe I do want to see them walk everywhere. I'm confused about the topographical layout now. Hey, we don't know why we're so happy, but welcome back! Ah! You know, for a primitive tribe, the music game's on point. Several instruments, good harmonies. Impressed. Usually it's just the drum beats, but they clearly got a horn section. What sounds like a soprano sax? I will say though, I totally do not get this new Dallas Cowboy cheerleader routine. It just is not hidden with me. I don't know what they're going for. A whole lot of pelvic thrusting. Uh, maybe they're celebrating their attempts to repopulate the planet after the nuclear war. Here, you try it first. I don't want to die. That, is that how I'm funny? That's, that's how we'd be funny, right? <laughs> that's vodka! Her water looks really thick. Let's see how you like it. Water, dumbass! I feel like the choreographer was just like, you know what, just make something up, I don't care. I swallowed a bug. Here, nope. Let me kiss in your mouth, that way the bartender won't know you're underage. Like your hair. Your hair is clearly under your head. No, I, I know how to eat. I just... I'm not a big fan of squirrel, I guess. Uh, fuck it, I'll try it. How the hell do you know? Isn't that the princess? I'm, I'm confused. No, it's not. Okay. He's so dumb! Okay, the next time it goes back to this too, look in the background, there's a guard standing there in a really short skirt who looks like he's 16. And it also looks horribly uncomfortable. It's kind of great. Now that's the water balloon, don't bite! Oh! Now the apple's poison. We got a whole Snow White thing going on here now. Also, that dude's hair looks like Darth Vader's helmet. Oh! So you're kissing each other with chewed food in your mouth. That's disgusting. The future's a terrible place. Maybe, should, maybe the nuclear war should just wipe us all out, because if this is what's waiting for us. Ah, they're hippie games at some point. Look at that. Oh! No stuff, I really hate these old... I wish she were that great. So, in 70s world, there was a nuclear war, most of humanity was wiped out, and the people that were left just danced and have sex? Like, I mean, it doesn't appear like their society has any kind of, like, farming or... I mean, they dam a river and they talk about crops. We haven't seen anyone actually do any work. 
I sit around and bone. As you know, which means boning's fun and all that. Before seasons complete their cycle, we celebrate our festival of love. Now back to the hotel. According to our custom, hey, they switched guards. Oh, it's been contest, all day. We'll choose the companion he most desires, and together they will pass a night of love. But don't we do that all day? Tommy, the best man wins. I don't know what that was about, I just wanted to see what was in the bowl. The music's insisting that this scene's fun, but I, I think they're gonna juggle flaming batons? Is that...? Maybe the torches are a symbol of rank. That the ones who have two are a higher rank, whereas the ones who have one, they're like, just starting out. Right? They're, they're like the privates. They gotta, they gotta work hard, and then they'll get their second torch. Or alternatively, kill one of the other girls and take their torch. Anthropology is hard. Ring of Fire! I love death games. I'm ready to check. Good. May luck be with you. May the odds be ever in your favor. Alright, so does someone want to tell me how I try? I, I'm not really sure what we're trying to accomplish here. Okay, fine, I'll figure it out, I guess. So, their challenge is to high dive into a lake of fire with no actual water. Seems like a foolish game. He's gonna die! My chicken legs weren't strong enough! I burned my bum! <laughs> Man, if he farts, they're gonna have a whole flamethrower situation. Yeah, that's the oil, dumbass! I wanna go next! Please at least fail half as funny as the guy before you. So, do they like tightrope walk to the end of one beam and then try to jump to the other? That doesn't seem possible. Especially because their balance beam appears to be made out of one of those cream filled wafers. Look at it. They could have given them a little more material in the crawl space. I'm just saying. I've got non-slip crocs and I can't fail! Whee! Oh. That doesn't seem realistic. Hands! <laughs> Sands look sticky. I choose Steve. Screw your society and its heteronormative rules. No, thank you. I don't wear jewelry. How dare you, sir? I don't... What's going on? I will end him. I don't know what that means. Aha! You taste like three day old ham. Yeah, we haven't invented toothbrush yet. We're working on it though. Why is she the one tribe member who the old navy? He's going to make love inside of a gingerbread house. I thought I lost my virginity. Take these back now. I changed my mind. I want some nails. I 
Make sure everything stays PG. Don't mind me. I, I think we're safe. That hurt. But I was wearing that. Oh, okay, I guess. I still don't know what we're doing. Is you're, you're touching my face? Is that love making? I'm, I'm, I'm lost. I'm sorry. You perhaps have a middle school instructional video I could watch. Alternatively, Pornhub. They lit a candle with their minds. And they will extinguish it with their minds. She changed clothes. You're not the one that I want. You don't got the one that goes. Honey. I really want to be with Nightwing. I'm sorry, Frank. Your name's not nearly dumb enough for me. I want Lithin. I got the onesie. Can't even tell who that is. Don't know what we're establishing here. Oh, brother is wearing all black. Christmas town. What's in here? I don't know what's happening, man. I won the challenge. I have rights. I messed up rights based on archaic traditions, but I have rights. So you didn't want to stick with yours either? No, no, I'm already finished with those two. I just wanted you as well. What are we doing? I have no idea. I don't. I thought this is what we were supposed to do. That, that was love making, right? That's. God, this culture is confusing. The fire tells me whatever's happening is hot. Where are we now? Actually, I'm going to stumble upon a second tribe and just go through all this over again. You had the fish, didn't you? Dark, are they kissing or they're staring at each other? I don't know what's happening. They're not actually moving forward, they're just tired of standing. They're just, they're just kissing while sitting at this point. It seemed easier. Yeah. I want to stand so long, your legs get tired. Judging by lifting chicken legs, the future society is not in great shape. <laughs> ah, my farts! You can get up, I miss you. So hot I hear lasers. Top shell up second. Total rings crossover. Didn't see it coming, did you? Oh, there's another shell up. I don't know these people. It's a ray, right? It recharges his red batteries or something. God. Future technology is stupid. Eventually they will have to reveal themselves. When they recharge the energy cells of their defensive shield, they will momentarily lose their protection. Wait. 
No, hold on, that doesn't make any sense. When they recharge the shield, they'll gain protection. What are you talking about? Now take us into space. Yes, my lord. Never left, but okay. Center control. Gain altitude. We were happy to accept you as our friend. But since you've been with us, so many strange things have happened. Well, really, it was just the attack last night, but we really didn't care for it. And I am obliged to ask you to return to wherever you came from. We come from another planet. We come from an down under. We were lost and were carried to this galaxy by pure chance. We were trying to escape from our enemies. Now they've located us. We have to leave. They want the Decepticons. To us and they'll destroy you and your people. We don't want to involve you in our battle with the King of the Night. If we go now, it's the King of the Night. If what you say is true, I don't care. We will need you and your supernatural powers to defend us. But you were right to try to get rid of us. Once we've left, you won't be in any danger. So let us go. No, never. I'm suddenly very selfish. We need you to defend us, so we're going to keep you from being able to move. It makes perfect sense. Amazon chop. Amazon flip. Nightwing chop. Amazon slap. Friends, we would have killed you already. Yeah. Oh, he's using his lame lantern ring again. He's gonna make like a giant lame hand to slap them. Wait, he's doing both hands? What the hell's the point of the ring? And now it looks like it's coming out of the palm of his hand. I'm confused. I'm more confused than I cared. <laughs> Sorry, Again, if, if we didn't watch the whole thing, we wouldn't know how they got to the ship. We have to make sure we get all of the details. This is just great cinematography right here. This is this is how movies should be made. Now, oh, now you come crawling back to ship, huh? Hold on, I gotta use the jump. Uh, I thought it had to be rebooted. It's a wonder he didn't destroy the whole planet. Yeah, probably something stupid like he only shipped one ray gun or some nonsense. But we don't have to worry about getting bored. We did learn something from those people. Uh, Parcheesi? I didn't drop. Oh, this. Okay. Fair warning, I was told I'm not very good at this. Well, that's okay, listen. No one expects you to be. <laughs> Looks like she got bored probably through that kiss and fell asleep. Are you going right or are you going left? Oh, there's the giant hand. Metal finger incoming! They had to charge it. They only brought one. We have a contact. You can see the ship on the space monitor. It's just a monitor. You don't put space in front of everything, a dink. Um, um. No, hold your fire. It appears he's trying to eat her face. This doesn't take care of itself. What are they doing? Suddenly, mad jelly. Nope, after looking at it again, I still don't get it. When you think of the thousands of years we've wasted, I don't understand. Anything, ever. I failed out of elementary school. We have nowhere to go, my lord. Their planet is uninhabitable and their space station is destroyed. Which means they are destined to wander through space for eternity. But I thought you wanted them destroyed. I don't know what I want anymore. But something happened to them. First, I want to know what it is, and then... Some of these cataracts? What is up with your eyes, bro? Why are we watching old footage, Listen. What do you mean, surrender? I mean, surrender. We won't be surrender. Not with only one spaceship. 
I was gonna quote more of the song, but I forgot the lyrics. Only when I'm in the presence of the king will I be able to carry out my revenge. Oh, she's gonna seduce him. I'm just guessing. I have no idea. After thousands of years, our sexual powers have come back to life, and we haven't suffered any harm. On the coming I mean, yet, yeah. we've acquired a powerful new dimension. I don't understand. You gotta bone down, you fool. What are you not getting? I must have them alive. Program the attack module. All modules assume delta formation. Surround I, mean, I could have done that. Push a button or something. Jesus. Why is the back of his outfit shaped like a mustache? A down mustache, too. You are the victim. I'm ready to give myself up to you. It's a very wise decision. <laughs> you have no other choice than by for Doc. I'm sure she is. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm sorry. Baby vet. Oh. I want everyone to see me do it. Handball. Now just down this melted cheese corridor. Find some 3D. Greetings, Bellstar. Oh, forgive me. Princess Bellstar. You are finally in my power. Yeah, real quick about that. Why does your mustache have glitter in it? But it would have been such a waste. It's not a mustache, it's garland. I love Christmas. Suffer too much to see you dead. No. Someone kill her out of my sight. But as my slave to the end of time. As I'm mortal now. Captain, he too will he killed me courageous. He is condemned to forced labor. Rest of his cosmic life. Life, bro. You have to say cosmic. We get it. You're in space. Do you like my championship belt? Let me show you what has happened to your clan. Jamal, take us to Ixalan. Name is Ted, my lord. Road trip. Something to get much brighter. Is dead. Lifeless. Your father, stupid to resist me. The other kings and emperors of the galaxy have recognized my power and are my loyal allies. They consider me a jerk, but it's fine, whatever. I have no friends. Inside. Inside. We're kings, you know, you can't yell at us. I was king of the pirates, right there. Would go. Ah! Ah! Before you pay for your sins, you will watch this. The glorified Uber, bro. Slave. Yes. Come and kneel at my feet. Oh, there she is. Like this? I don't, I don't kneel much. Lord, before I dedicate my life wholly to you, please let me say my last goodbye to Lithan. Ooh, is really your name Lithan? <laughs> That's stupid. God, what did I sign up for? I mean, the clothes are cool, but... Week. I swear to you, my happiest moments were spent with you. 
now that we've just begun to understand the real meaning of life, we must part forever. Sex. Sex is apparently the real meaning of life. None of that art or science or knowledge bullshit. Nah, man, it's all about boning down. That's the only reason anyone exists. Seriously disgusting. All right, so I should just go then, right? Okay, we get it. You're kissing God. We move on. Strangely aroused by this. I don't even know what arousal means. All right, you can kill him now. Curtsy and scene. Extreme close up. Extreme close up. Is that an editing issue? Well, now that I killed my girlfriend, time for the rest of you. Really, it's not like it being broken up with. I'll activate the self destruction system. Oh, no, she's fine. Never mind. Ah, uh, I, I, I liked you the most. Oh. Uh. I mean, even for the Lord of Darkness, or the hell they're calling that guy, there's no smoking on the bridge. I and the other dethroned kings will return to our planets. What about you? You know, the ones that weren't destroyed. What will you do? Where will you go? Come back to our lifeless husk of a planet. Forever. We have nowhere to go in this galaxy. We found a new life elsewhere. We want to return to the planet where we learn to be happy. If you leave the galactic Star Wars, what is this happy? You will become vulnerable to sickness, old age, and health. Till death do you part. We know, but love is worth it. Let's go. So, we don't have much time. Get to your spaceship. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to understand the rules here. Can they can they not make love while immortal? Is does immortality cause ED? Is that? Why did they switch back to? Oh god, I don't understand anything. High five, bro! Don't leave me hanging. That's what happens when you leave someone hanging. Remember that as you move forward through life, kiddos. I mean, to be fair, we have to design your ship with a giant hand. It's just dumb. Don't do it. I'll catch a drive through or so I, I feel like the point of this was supposed to be that they defeated the Emperor of Darkness or sorry what was it the King of Night I feel like they defeated the King of Night with the power of love I think that's the message they were going for but they didn't they beat it with lift and side beams where is that planet it was all the mirage Oh, they found the pop socket again. Seriously, what happened to your pant legs? Is that it on them? Oh, who lives in a pineapple? Seems for professional jokes, man. Crap, it's a different ship, and these ones are mean! Oh, the staircase on the other side. Oh, oh mixing it up. Oh, catch us off guard movie. Look at that. Way to improvise. Woo! Opposite staircase. We just came by to tell you you suck. We're leaving again. Bye. Turns out they're all just big fans of the ship. They don't care about Lethen or Star at all. They just think the ship's chill, people. 
Oh wow, I didn't see that mountain of human skulls and effluence over there. That's, maybe this isn't the planet for us. We should probably get back on the ship and go. I don't know. You're a bitter calmness. I'm bitter. Star night! Do 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 do! Look out behind you! How do they have aliens? That that can't be legit, right? Most of these are crappy films that probably no one cares about maintaining the copyrights to, but like. Aliens? Really? Really? You got the rights to aliens. I fail to believe. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you, beautiful, beautiful mammals. If you're here until the end of the video, well, holy crap, dog. Thank you so much for being here with me. I uh, appreciate you. Uh, once more, that was from Future Zone. I will try to include the link in the description. If I remember, I probably won't, but I will try. Um, give them a like and a follow, please. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all the things that help me with the algorithm. I do appreciate all those. Plus, you can catch me most nights at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on Twitch, where I play various video games, or on Fridays, where movies live, and do I do incorporate jokes from the audience. So if you'd like to be a part of that, you're always welcome. Uh, there's also going to be, I'm going to try to include, I'm, I'm trying to learn how to be better at my job, so I'm going to try to include a link to my tips and whatnot below as well. If you'd like to support the channel, it'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, but yeah, all of that aside, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. It has been an absolute pleasure. I will see you guys next time. Till then, remember to take care of yourselves. Look out for one another and have a great day. Oh, that's wrong button.